Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I make a pair of end tables. And the nice part about these tables is they fold away for easy storage. So let's get into this build. I'm gonna start by cutting all the legs first and the top supports on the table saw here. And all the lumber I'm using for this is 7 8 thick. And I'm gonna cut it on the table saw to inch and a quarter wide. Now I'm making two of these tables, so all of my cuts are gonna be doubled. Next we need to cut four pieces at 28 and three quarters and four of them down to 19 and a quarter inches. Next we're gonna cut down the slats for the top and they have to be three and three sixteenths wide. And the lumber I'm gonna use for that is three quarters of an inch thick. Oh, I need my hearing protection. Where did I put it? Ah, over there. Next, we need to cut these slats down to 21 and a quarter inches long. Now that we have all the pieces cut, we're just gonna take them over to my shaper and we're gonna give them a eighth of an inch round over on all the sides. Next, we're gonna go to the miter saw and nip the corners off on one end on all of the pieces, on all the long ones and the short ones. So now on the short ones, we've already cut the two corners off. And on the other end, about halfway in the middle, we're gonna cut that off on a 45 degree angle. So then on the other end of the long ones, we're gonna cut a 37 degree angle. Next, we need to drill the mounting holes at the ends and it's important to get the orientation right on these legs and the uh, top supports. You can see I have the bevel going that way and this bevel here is that way and you lay it on top and that is how it goes. To drill these holes we're going to use three different drill bits and they're all different sizes. First we're going to start with a 3 8 Forstner bit and drill a countersink hole. Then we're going to switch over to our smaller bit and drill through the top one and then into the bottom one, but not all the way through. And then we're gonna take this board away and we'll use the bigger bit and we'll drill through. And that way that our screw can move freely on there. Now we just need to drill two more holes. So we're gonna take these short pieces, set them to the side. And what we wanna do is, you can see here we have the two holes. We want them facing out. So we're gonna flip one over and we're gonna place the other one on top like that. And then we're gonna measure from the bottom 13 and a quarter inches. And we're gonna go over to the drill press and we're gonna drill the holes the same way that we did the top hinges. Next, we wanna drill a hole for our carrying handle. And for that, we're gonna use this three quarter inch dowel. Measure down three inches and then make a little tick mark for the center. 
We'll go to the drill press and we'll drill a three quarter inch hole with a Forstner bit about halfway through. So I started assembling these legs and I realized that I made a mistake. There's actually a left and a right. This is how that side goes. So I did the countersink on the wrong side. So what I did was I filled it in with a dowel. I'm gonna re-drill my 3 8 countersink there and then drill all the way through. That should fix it. I don't think there'll be any problems with that. And then on the longer ones, I had to fill in that little pilot hole that I drilled for the screw. But before I filled it in, I went to the drill press and I drilled it all the way through so that I knew where that was on that side. And then I filled it in and sanded it flush. You know what, no one's gonna know that it was there from a distance, only you guys who are watching this. So yeah, if you're gonna be building this for yourselves, just make sure you pay attention. There's a left and a right, you don't wanna get that backwards. Now we just need to assemble the legs. I already have one done here. So we'll just place a washer and line that up, we'll add a screw. Now what I like to do is I'll tighten the screw all the way down, as tight as I can, and then I'll back it out one turn and that would make it just enough for it to swivel. Now we have our left and our right. It's important that these dowel holes for the handle are on the inside. Okay, now that it's, the sides are screwed together and I cut a piece of dowel that is eight and a half inches long and I'm going to slide that in there. And then off camera, I cut two pieces of wood here. They're three and a quarter inches. And this one is 11 inches long. And this one is 12 and three quarters inches long. And this one here goes on this side. And I'm gonna put it three and a half inches from the bottom. and then flip it over. And this time we're gonna screw into the outside legs. Next we need to add the slats and we have the shorter piece here. So that means that we need to attach our slats to these arms that are on the inside. I'm gonna use two washers as just for spacers that I have in here so we can keep a, the same gap. And we're gonna do three of these on each side, keeping the bottom flush. Now we're just gonna make sure this board is flush with the bottom and it's centered. And I'm just gonna use um, two roofing nails here as my spacers. Now we just need to screw these boards in. And it's important to make sure that you don't, you screw into the right ones. Okay, these three are going to this one and these three are going to that one. And we're gonna make sure that we pre-drill everything. And I'm just gonna use my 3 8 Forstner bit to countersink all these holes. Next, we need to add four little pieces of wood that are actually pretty important. So what you wanna do is take your two roofing nails again and uh, push it together so you get the right spacing. And then there's gonna be some play side to side with these right now. And that's what these little blocks are gonna stop happening is they're gonna keep it square and they're gonna keep that gap.
So that is it for this video, guys. I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.